Well, it's another crazy school year. Construction, new teachers, and new classrooms. And we still have the COVID precautions. Masks and some social distancing. And students having to quarantine. It's been tough. But we've made it through. Which is great, because it's time for the first edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. For the Nightly News, I'm Brody. For the Nightly News, I'm Ellie. Let's take a closer look. For the Nightly News, I'm Haley. For the Nightly News, I'm Tennessee. For the Nightly News, I'm Tammy. For your Nightly News, I'm Elizabeth. For the Nightly News, I'm Tashani. Welcome to another edition of the Nightly News with a story about volleyball. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Ellie. But before we get to volleyball, let's start with back to school and construction. <laughs> I'm Tashani Johnson from the Nightly News, and we're going to be talking about all the construction going on. Let's take a closer look. Ryan, Ryan do you guys have a set date or an estimate of when the construction will be finished? Why, we sure do. When is that? <laughs> we are uh, looking for... Final completion to turnover on December 13th. Ryan, what are some of the biggest problems you've faced so far? Well, some of the biggest problems I've faced are um, with the COVID, uh, materials not being able to get made and get here on time, so we've had to push schedules back because of that. Um, other things are students uh, being back in the building, things like that. Speaking of kids being back in school, what are some of the biggest challenges you face with us being around? Uh, the biggest obstacle we have with kids is making sure everybody's safe, uh, making sure we have areas coned off, flagged off. Other than that, it's just basically make sure you guys are safe. Ella and Natalie, how does it feel being back to regular schedule after not having a regular school year since freshman year? Um, I enjoy being in school with a regular schedule, and I also am happy that this year we get a homecoming unlike the years in the past that we haven't and I also am glad that we are in school not remote because being remote was difficult on many students and on myself. I'm just glad to be back for senior year and being back in school but the construction is making it a little difficult but I'm glad to be here. Johnson, Zach, what are you most excited about for this year? I'm definitely most excited for homecoming this year. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun with all the activities but I'm also very excited for the fan sections that we have going on, it's going to be a lot of fun with all the fun themes that we have going on and just the activities that are going around in the high school. What do you think of high school so far? I definitely, I'm liking it, but it's definitely a little bit harder to adapt to with all the construction going on on around the school, but I'm really excited to see the outcome. It's going to look really nice. What is it like having one of the closest rooms to all the construction? Noisy and sometimes very distracting. You have 34 years of teaching. You've had air conditioning once. How does that make you feel? Hot. Hot, hot, hot. I'm hot. <laughs> How have you been affected by changing rooms multiple times? Uh, I'd say uh, the constant influx of visitors uh, in the library, you know. Uh, I've had, you know, different construction workers, uh, different teachers, students, you know. So it's always a constant party, you know. And now I'm in the cafeteria, so I kind of got more construction and uh, cafeteria workers. But, you know, uh, it's always fun, so we have a good time. What are you most looking forward to with getting your new room? Uh, I'm looking forward to having my own space finally, I'd say. Uh, you know, um, kind of the kind of, kind of constant uh, in and out of uh, places I've been in, the cafeteria, the library, Mr. Martin's room. Shout out, Mr. Martin. That's, you know, my own space, I guess. This is Tashani for your nightly news. With phase one still in progress and two more to come, it's going to be a bit dusty for a while. Back to school means fall sports, so today we're taking a look at volleyball. Our 2021 Fieldcrest volleyball team is back and playing. This year's team consists of 20 plus players and is coached by Coach Sanders and Coach Bartman. Let's take, take a, a closer, closer look. look. So Zoe, with this being your junior year, how has Fieldcrest volleyball had an overall impact on you? Um, it's really helped me connect with people in the school and also it's helped me manage my time better with practice, homework, and other activities. How are you feeling about the Fieldcrest volleyball team this year? I think our team has very good chemistry and the potential to do great things. Um, we work very well together and practice and just have fun with the game. How are you feeling about being a senior and this being your last year playing field crest volleyball? I'm really excited. Everybody works really hard on the court and we all have a lot of talent and potential and I think we're going to go really far. 
And also, do you have any plans to play volleyball in the future? Yeah, I do plan on continuing my education while also playing volleyball. It's game day! The Lady Knights are hoping for a successful season this year, and with the strength that they have, we have a lot of faith in them. So that's it, guys. Free Cross Volleyball is back. Come on out to a home game and support your Lady Knights. For the Nightly News, I'm Kenzie. And I'm Haley. This year has been going well, so good luck with the rest of your season. Short and sweet, that's it for this show. But we'll see you soon with another edition of Your Nightly News. Nightly News.